Oh, who's a cute little bear? Who's a cute? Who said? Psst? Oh no! Don't do that. I hear him right here. Muchachos, I think I've found the scariest found footage game. According to the Steam description, this is a game about a vlogger who goes to an abandoned place and we get to see what happened through his GoPro footage. I wanted to play this because this hits home for me, having visited abandoned places and spooky horror places. I just gotta check it out. Let's play it. It is 2015. Tim, an Urbix vlogger, per his viewer's request, sets out to explore an abandoned hospital in a forest in the middle of nowhere. The web forum Tim frequented was crawling with stories about people who had gone missing in the vicinity of the hospital in 1985. Orale. So an abandoned hospital. Why do I feel like I've been in a situation like this before? They said. What did they say? They said, get the f out of here, fool! You're not supposed to be here! It was a Mexican ghost. Came out of nowhere. It was no ordinary hospital. What kind of hospital was it? What a late wait. Abandoned souls. Oh, thank God I get a flashlight. Chingon. It reaches like two feet in front of me. Can barely even see my toes. No mames. Vamos a empezar con esto, wait. Why we gotta be in the woods? Don't they have a parking lot? Hospitals have a parking lot. You know what? I would never do this kind of shit alone. Hell. No, at least with a group of friends, you know, I could feel a little bit safer because I'm really good at running. And if I, if we had to run, I wouldn't be the mother in the back. <laughs> Abuelita. Then no tortillas, okay? That light just turned on over there. Y'all see that? There's clearly someone out here. Ain't no ghosts out here cooking tortillas, tamales, whatever they're making out here. Están haciendo una barbacoa al pozo o qué? How do I get over there? All right, all right, all right. Here we're gonna start with this. What we got? What we got over here? Missing person. Okay, we already know there's people missing. You know what? This is for like detectives to come and do, bro. Not me. What the f am I gonna do? Just be another one? Aha! There's the light. Hola! I can smell fresh tortillas. What are you guys cooking over here, huh? There's no cabrito, no tacos de trompo. Con queso quemado. Hoy tengo hambre, la verdad. I'm kind of hungry, bro. I haven't had Mexican food in a minute. Oh, orale. Cálmate, güey. Cálmate. No van a empezar a chingar a su madre. Okay. 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 We gotta go this way, I guess. They just came to turn on the light. They're not cooking anything. Turns out, the smell is coming from over here. What they cooking? Some fool? A human? I know my man! Why do we have to explore this shit at night? What, you couldn't have come to interview whoever the f is out here during the day? I know my man, I saw, I see that. Yeah, that's some human behavior over here. What the f was that? What the f was that? Get on that way. Ay, cabrones, van a empezar con esta chingadera, hombre. What's a pizza oven? Oh, hell no. Wow! Ah! Ah! Wow! Quiero agua, tengo sed! Ah! Shut up! What the fuck is that? Oh my god. Que onda putos, no mamen. Aha! This way. This way. I think I found the way. Oh, we got some motherfucker whistling? No mames. I see a house over here. Hey, my flashlight is working! What the fuck? No empiezan a chingar a su madre, güey. No. <laughs> shut up. No, I want to hear it from you right now. Just, just shut up. All right, you got scared too. You know your ass got scared. Type in the comments. You got your ass scared right now. Tired of y'all being down in the comments like, "Oh, he's scared of everything." Meanwhile, you jumped your ass up in your chair, didn't you? Ah, why is my flashlight not working no more? Take this right now. Could go away. Grab the axe. Get revenge for getting jump scared. Sean was good. The crowbar on the table. What? 
Oh, we are break. We're breaking in. In okay, we've been uh, now. Conf it's now confirmed. We are not supposed to be here, muchachos. They do not want us here. I need to get back to the car. Yeah, good idea. It would be really cool if we get back to the car safely, and my flashlight would work. I hope I got extra batteries in my car. Oh god, they tried to jack my shit, didn't they? That fool just ran out the uh, out of that uh, one the shack, and he now went to my car. And he stole my shit. Pali madre. Me robaron el radio. Do people still steal radios off of cars nowadays? Like, I know, like, you can't just, like, take a touchscreen out of a car now and install it in another car, can you? I mean, you probably could. But, like, it's not like you need it for what? To play CDs? Everybody's got, a, everybody's got like, at least some sort of, like, media player. He said something. I didn't read it. I was too busy talking about this shit. <laughs> There's someone there. That's better. Oh, God. No mames. What the hell? Bloody are axes? But Wait, what, what happened? I went home. Tim got scared for his life and decided to risk. The risk was not worth it. Ha! Yes! Yes! A logical horror game! Did that just end it? Did I just get an ending? I didn't... Wow. We gotta start again, because we f***ed it up. Alright, muchachos, we are now in the hospital. I forgot to hit record. All that happened was you go from the truck to the door of the hospital and you unlock it. And the guy that jump scared me earlier was following me and that's it. Like, it wasn't anything major. And now we're inside the hospital. And we're continuing our hospital, uh, uh, abandoned hospitals uh, exploration adventure. Great! Can't hear anything! See? I'm See, I'm getting my, my emotions wrong. Not emotions. <laughs> senses. <laughs> It looks like it just started raining outside. I just I, I got inside just in time Well, because rain is way worse than what's about to happen to your ass in here. This is some outlast type shit right now That's what's happening uh, And I've played outlast you know, Shit if I go through this door some bullshit's gonna go down. I know it. I just know it. I just know it. I just know it. I know it. I know it. I know it. I know it Dead end I know a lot of people in the comments want me to play Outlast because it's scary as hell and I agree, but I've played Outlast 1 and Outlast 2 before. <laughs> and I don't want to bring y'all a game that I've already played because that would be lame. It wouldn't be fresh. Okay, you know what's fresh? A flashlight would be really nice and fresh right now. Kind of like a sandwich. Because I'm hungry. But because it was no tamales! Damn f rat scared the hell out of me. Yes, it did. Oh, you know what? The flashlight was even useless, too. You can't see anything. Hey, yo. It's like when you throw shit up into the ceiling at school. You know what? Maybe if I go through the entire game by just looking up at the ceiling. There's a backpack. My computer's overheating. Are you kidding me? Look! It's going red! My, my computer's literally overheating <laughs> uh, well I hope I can uh, finish at least this recording before my computer explodes <laughs> that's never happened before okay let's go where were we this bullshit that's the bullshit, that's the bullshit right there that's the bullshit que es eso? Que es eso? what was that que chingados fue eso güey? espérense hombre espérense antes de que me asusten por favor this way Right? This way? Is it this way? I don't know. Somebody's whistling! Somebody's peeking around what corner? What corner? Someone is peeking around the corner? This way? I know my is way. Look at this! Wait a minute. I came from here. No, I did not. Did I? I did. <laughs> oh, you can open doors. <laughs> Thought it was one of those games where you just get stuck. Kind where you just get stuck and stuff. 
Ah, uh, who's opening a bag of hot Cheetos right now? Is this really the time? Pinches, cabrón. No mames, no mames, no mames. Van a empezar, güey. Van a empezar. I don't like this anymore. You know what? I don't think I like this. I don't like this at all. No. Who are all these people? What's with all the equipment they're hauling away? I've seen the hardware like this in the body bags where these look like body bags with, uh, well, corpses in them. But as an ordinary hospital, we have uh, more here. Where did the body bags come from? What's going on? Uh, oh, I have some questions. Yeah, how about questioning the noises that are coming from right outside this bitch? Huh? How about questioning the shit that's out there? That's what I'm trying to question. I have a big ass question mark on my forehead from that bitch. But we keep going. Life moves on. You know what? Come on. They got nothing better to do than scare people. Somebody's gonna be taking a shit. I've gotten jump scared at a, at a, uh, 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 a stall like this in another game. He just stared at me and it was like, boom. Whoops. <laughs> like, that's what I'm talking about. There was a baby right there. What was a baby doing crawling on the side of the shit? I locked them. Just Okay. He's gone. The baby is gone. Why was there a fing baby right here? Did he crawl he crawled up there? I knew there would be somebody up in the ceilings. There's no other place he could have gone. And that was not a ghost. He doesn't like walk through walls and shit. It's a crawly bitch. That's a thing that just crawls at you. Okay, 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 okay. I've been here before. I know that for a fact. Just look up look up on the ceiling for the baby. Oh, there's another note here. I even, Mike, I can't believe they're shutting us down. What about the locals? They're going to turn for help now. How oh, they reach the town? It's miles and miles and strange, according to the papers. Your sponsors have been... It's really strange. They closed the only hospital for hundreds of kilometers around. Why? Ah, uh, because of the creepy motherfuckers that are in here. Why? Why else? The guys in the forum were writing that people were disappearing in the villages near this hospital. It happened around the 80s. The note is dated from 1985. Okay. Oh, there's a room I haven't been to right here. And that's why I haven't. That's exactly why I... I don't know that I can handle this anymore, muchachos. I don't know. I can't handle this. I can't handle this. That door just opened. I heard it. I heard it. It wasn't open before. No, it wasn't. What? There's a person right there. Jack? Senor Jack Skellington? Is that you, sir? It is too, senor. What? What? Is the baby up here? Oh, there's another note right there. Ah, uh, screw this, Rick! They are shutting us down! After all we've done for them, what we've done, this project was doing so good. We were so close to our goal, but one of the sponsors decided that they are too many casualties. After all these years and so many lives sacrificed, they decided to pull the plug and not alert the press. The locals suspect us already, and they decided to close the hospital. Can't they see it'll set off more alarm bells? Today, they will haul away all the equipment and all the subjects just like that in broad daylight. Idiots. What the f***? No mames. No mames, somebody's coming. Close the door. Close the door. Close the door. What's that sound? It looks like someone is crying. Ah, joke's on you. You can't see sound. Unless you've been going and eating the shit in that fridge. Maybe you could. I know! I know! No! You know what? They should add before jump scares? Consent. And I don't consent to this jump scare. You gotta be f***ing kidding me. You've gotta be shitting me right now. There is a big ass shadow right there. What are we looking at? What, what are we talking about here, huh? Aliens? Are these aliens? Hi! 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 I'm going crazy! I shouldn't have gone in that fridge! I shouldn't have eaten the stuff in the fridge! I'm sorry! It was your food! Not mine! What is that? Don't look up. Why? Why would it say that? Why would you tell me that? Don't look up. What does it mean?
Oh! What was that? What the f was that? The baby! I f***ing knew it! It's the baby's in the ceiling! That bitch is crawling on the ceiling! I'm getting the f*** out of here, cabrones. Screw this. I'm going back to the truck. I shouldn't have come back in the hospital. Where am I? This room changed. Where am I? What the f***? Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, calmense putos. Stop it, am I running away from something? I'm running away from that. I'm running away from paraplegic Steve! I could probably run faster than him. Just saying. I mean, it's not like he's got a turbocharged wheelchair or some shit like that. Nope. But my legs do me good. They do. But I don't mean that because he's paraplegic or anything. It just means that I'm just trying to say that I could run really fast. Is someone helping me? Of course it's locked. Follow me. Follow who? The bear? Follow the bear. Yeah, I hear him. I hear the wheelchair sounds. Stop that shit. Stop it. Stop it. I hear sounds. Wheelchair sounds coming from over here. Okay. Alright, I hear the wheelchair sounds. It's good. It's good. Am I going the right way? What is that? What does that say? The teddy bear shit himself. On the wheelchair. Okay, the room looks familiar. Wait, what? No, it doesn't. You're trying to tell me I've been there before. I did see the teddy bear before in the really big room on the other side of the hospital. It was on a desk. I saw it. I paid attention to it. I do pay a lot of attention, even though it doesn't look like it. What the f*** that noise? Stop it. I can hear it. I hear it. No, I hear it. It's fine. It's good. It's fine. I'm, I'm just walking through this ho fucking hospital. You know this one time, I was playing with the walkie-talkie and I accidentally tuned into a different station and that's the kind of moans I heard and it was probably my neighbors. That's what she sounded like, fool. I'm not even playing. I shouldn't have been here, fool. I shouldn't have come here. So what I keep telling y'all, but y'all keep saying, Eddie, you're gonna play scary games. We love it when Eddie plays scary games. We love the Eddie Horror Channel. But you know what? Thank you, first of all, but second of all, stop encouraging me. The room with the farts. That's I see the teddy bear. He's over there. I knew where I was going. It's his teddy bear. Right? No? It's not. I went the wrong way again. God damn it. Aha! There you are, you little shit. Listen. Take a right at the clock. And there's two doors. One of the bathrooms has a key on a plate. We gotta find a clock. It looks like the hallway I was in. The familiar clock on the wall. There should be a door somewhere near. Okay, so the hallway I just came from is over there. This on the way. The ghost, I hear I hear the I hear the wheelchair. <laughs> oh shit, he's running! It was a fake! He's not paraplegic, you mother- why do they always run past you? Why don't they come up to you and like give you a hug? You know, like when your family member's excited to see you, like, Lalo, you came. You know, like I gotta find a clock, bro. You know what would be really helpful right now? A flashlight. Why don't you look for a flashlight? Why don't you prioritize that? Ah, oh, the clock right here. Drop in there, to the right. This is the restroom, right? Let's open that shit. The restroom in here? Yes! The key's right here! Nice! The key to what? The key to what? Oh yeah, there was a door that was locked over here where the uh, paraplegic ghost showed up for the first time. All the way down this hall right here. Nuh uh. Nuh uh. Nuh uh. Oh. I'm leaving. I'm walking my happy Mexican ass. Over here. <laughs> Away from that shit. Yeah, the door's over here. This goes somewhere. Yes, this one. Aha! Yes! The key worked there! Where are we going? Hello? What is this place? 
Ay, no, mira, güey. There's blood on the ground, all right? You know, when that shit happens, you run the other way. I just got an achievement called Where Am I? What is this place? I didn't do anything special, okay? Don't, don't give me... It's like giving me a pat on the back for just going to class one day. Those are eyes! It's eyes! Shit. That means that, that's different when it's me. <laughs> Better hide. <laughs> We're a happy family. I sell drugs in the corner and give you lots of fentanyl. Then you're gonna owe me money. It's a bear! Oh, you can grab this one. Oh, who's a cute little bear? Who's a cute... Who said pss? Oh, no, don't do that shit. I hear him right here. Tu putisima madre, pinche da baby! Who was that? He was so close to me. No shit. It's because you allowed him to. You didn't pack any weapons when you came here? So many people, men, women, children, and for what? Why have we done all of this? It was clear from the start that this was bullshit. Dr. Burkhoff, uh, more like Dr. Jerk. I'm going this way. Let's follow where that dude just went. He might lead me towards the money. Every hospital's gotta have a stash, right? Like an actual stash of money. Access point. Well, let's go in there. Why not? That <laughs> What's that smell? <laughs> you just noticed. I've been farting, Bob. Uh. Ah. Uh, my God, what the hell is this? This thing is huge. I hope it's dead. What are you talking about? What's huge? Oh, shit! I did. <laughs> hey, yo. This could about to be a new category on OnlyFans, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, thanks for making me money. You know what they say about dudes with big feet? They got big... noses. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this information? There's just some big-ass dudes down in this hospital. Holy shit, there's big-ass dudes underneath the hospital! How did they get here? What kind of experiments are we running? Dr. Handjob over here was the one who created them, right? The latest experiment was a success. Can't say the same about previous cases, but this time the subject seems stable. Muscle mass increases steadily. However, intellectual ca capability continuously declines. It would appear the subjects experience total memory loss. They have no recollection of who they are and what happened to them. That's good for us, right? All of the subject has done is completely bold. Their voice cords have undergone irreversible changes, and they have lost the ability to articulate words. Hey, that sounds like me. They now emit weird noises akin to laughter or something else entirely. Hey, that's me. Another peculiar upgrade is in the eyesight hey that's me <laughs> the subjects can definitely see in near total darkness and their eyes seem to reflect light rather haunting really the subjects are getting more and more aggressive towards personnel we still manage to keep them under control so far so good unfortunately we still cannot determine what causes loss of signal between subjects brain implants and our machines but we are working on it let's continue the research so they're big as fuck, but they're stupid as fuck. So they're big and stupid Follow the cords, huh? Big giant cord. Probably gonna lead to some big giant humans again. Oh, hello! What's this? I haven't been to this place before. This looks friendly. Ah, the wheelchair! I'm supposed to follow it, right? Oh, Jesus Christ! What? Oh, man, it's a dead body. There's a note next to him. What's the note say? Okay, so, uh, one, put the fuel can into the generator and then light the thing and then the platform will rise. Okay, so put fuel in the can and 20, 20, 20th of December, 1985, fuel canister, generator, light. Someone helping me? Yes, they are. The, f the fuel canister. I hear breathing. Oh, God. Okay. Whew. Hey, yo, I see a pair of eyes over there. No mom is way. No chingues, no chingues, no chingues. I know! Wait, it's the paraplegic ghost. Follow him, right? We're supposed to follow him. Wait, I need to fuel. Is there fuel somewhere? Fuel's right there. Put the fuel into the generator. Yes, 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 the ghost's trying to help. He went this way. I heard that fool go this way, cabron. I mean, it's been this way. Yeah, see, they got buttons here. You know the generator's down here somewhere. I found it. Thank you, paraplegic Steve. You're a good man. 
Where do you put the fuel at? There we go. Filled up the fuel. Ah. That noise. Stop it. Let there be luck. What just happened? Where's the body? Cabrones, where's the body? There was a body right there. I need to see if I can watch the tape. Oh, it went down. <gasps> the whole thing collapsed. Okay, watch the tape. I see, I see what happened. I see what happened. Put that shit in there. What is this tape? What's this say, huh? Wait, hold on. Before you read that, let me watch the tape because it might be important. Okay. Can't see anything. Oh, there we go. All right, so we got experiments happening. Some stock footage. The doctor's doing stuff. Be a good time for a water break. What are they doing? So they develop. He developed. It's a record of the experiments that took place here. All right, that doesn't look like that crazy though. It's just. It's just stock footage. The previous batch died within a week from the inserting the brain implants and injecting the serum. But this, this is something else. Their physical attributes are rapidly increasing and their immune system seems to be able to withstand exposure to all of the viruses, bacteria we introduced. All of that a mere week after the introduction of a new serum. We're excited to have Dr. Burkhoff join the project. Everything has been going much faster and smoother now that he's with us. His vast expertise and innovative ideas led to a breakthrough with serum development. The best one yet. Ah, so we developed a serum that turned him into... Is that? Stop it. I see light over here. Light's good. Light is good. Light is where I need to go. Whoa! 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 <laughs> oh, great. I'm going further down, right? Right. Right. Yeah, because that's what we do. That's what we this that's what any logical person would do in this situation in which mutants are fing chasing you. Keep going further in instead of dipping the f out. Mexicans don't do this shit. I'm telling y'all. They are closing the project. One of the recent subjects escaped. The one from the latest test batch. It tore several lab assistants and a couple of security guards in pieces and vanished into the vents. We tried to stop it by initiating a lockdown, but it looks like it managed to escape before the vent dividers fully closed. Oh god! What have we done? We were supposed to create remote control super soldiers, and we created an apex predator with human intelligence, ferocious strength, unparalleled agility, and night vision. I hope they capture the subject soon, or else I don't want to think about it. You know what's interesting about having a superhuman apex predator? The fact that it just, it's just been like there looking at me, and it hasn't actually done anything to me. What if it just wants to be my friend? No me gustó esto, ya no me gustó esto, ya no me gustó esto, ya no me gustó esto, esto no me gusta, esto no me gusta, esto no me gusta. I'm about to get jump scared down here and we're going straight down towards the next light. You know what? Run. Screw it. Screw it. If anything comes out, just scream. That's it. It's just a little scream. It's just a little scream. Nothing's gonna happen. And nothing bad is gonna happen, right? Right? What was that? Dr. Burkhoff ordered that everyone should leave the lab today. Told us to leave everything behind. Said the experiment had failed and we could never be able to control them. All project documentation will be destroyed. The subjects shall put together and are transported into a separate location. They're closing us down. The hospital on top of the lab as well. This is it. Months of work gone to waste. I don't know what's going to happen next. I guess they will burn the place down or extend the lockdown inf infinitely. Either way, our vital mission will be forgotten. Ah, screw that. I just want to get out of here. We all do. As soon as possible. Sometimes, when you listen closely, despite all the movements and shouting and noises, you can hear something not knocking on the vents. Oh, these horrible noises give me the chills. Oh, now vents? Who is it? Mangos? Oh, God, stop it. Please, I'm not even gonna look behind me. Is that a camera? Oh, it is. Fuck. I see where the game is called Abandoned Souls. Because they just abandoned everyone at the hospital. They, like, messed with their brains. Or mess, yeah, they messed with their brains, they experimented on them, and they just turned into mutant people that were just abandoned in a hospital. And the whole place was locked up, that's why you needed a crowbar to get in. But outside, there was somebody that wasn't like them. Maybe it was a caretaker, the guy that makes tortillas and tamales for them. See, I'm adding to the lore of this place. Oh, 
Oh, oh, that's a lot of them. That's a lot of them. Oh, shit. Hey, yo. This game is scary. It's very atmospheric. What the hell? I recognize the locations from the video. I've been there. That plush teddy bear on the table. All right. Fine. I've had enough. I need to get out of here. Now you'd want to get out of here? What's this? Camera? Let's get out of here quickly. Yeah, no shit. Okay. Yep. Get the f out of here. They kill people with cameras and collect their cameras. They probably sell them at the pawn shop. They have superhuman intelligence, right? I mean, just r regular human intelligence, like the dumb kind, right? Maybe they're not smart enough to try and make a profit off the cameras. Maybe they just want your guts. Oh, Jesus Christ, the generator shut off. This is what you get, fool. This is what happens when you say, oh, let's explore further. Oh, what is that noise? Let's go towards the noise. This is what happens. You don't learn your lesson. No one ever learns their lesson. Yeah, yeah, you're going to say, oh, Eddie, you've been to horror places before I have been. You know what? But I run away. I don't say, oh, listen to the noise. Let's go towards it. Especially with this. That. Listen to that. I don't want to hear no bitch whining. I don't even want to look. Oh, God, a bloody teddy bear. Screw that shit. Come on, man. There's someone right here. Please make it stop. 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 Just run. Paraplegic Steve, you're supposed to be helping me. The paraplegic ghost is not helping me at all. Where the f am I supposed to go? Right. I'm supposed to go back this way. Yep. Up these stairs. <gasps> Cutscene? Oh, God! I f knew they weren't really on wheelchairs. Ah, oh, god damn it. I'm dead. I wonder if it's the same video that plays every time. Like if you look at every of the cameras. Oh, I'm back. I'm back. They were chasing me. I need to get out of here as soon as possible. I'm still here. I thought I was dead. Leave right now. That? Correle, they got the giants out! The big-footed fellas are coming! Oh, God, run, f stupid! Correle, way! God, run in the mud. Don't fucking stop, just keep going. Just keep going. Yeah, you run like fucking... Why do you run like this? I thought we could run faster than them on wheelchairs, and you can't even... You can't run faster than you can walk! Oh, Jesus Christ. This is the slowest chase scene I've ever seen. Slowest, most unrealistic chase chasing. And you know who's gonna be out there? The tortilla tamale maker. The guy who makes tamales. El tamalero, he's waiting for you outside. We're going to the truck. Are we gonna make it? We're not leaving. After Tim released the video, the police decided to investigate the place. They dispatched a team who turned the place upside down. Plenty of documents, machinery, and clothes belonging to people who had gone missing throughout the years were uncovered. Many re relatives of friends who had gone missing documents were discovered reached to Tim, thinking him, albeit unintentionally, shedding light on the loved ones. Oh, he made it! We fucking made it! We actually made it! We made it! I, I thought it was gonna end with him dead! That was a good game. That's very atmospheric, and I haven't been jump scared like that in a minute. My heart, muchachos. My poor heart. Thank you so much for watching another horror game. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see next. That's it for me. Los quiero un chingo, cabrones. I love y'all. And I'm going to see you next time. Bye.